Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of It. I am Penge and it's time for some more, another brick in the mall and it is very busy. It's very busy, very bustling. So what's happened since last time? We have researched the bus thing and we are currently over halfway through researching luxury suppliers. The shop has had these extra shelves in, so there's DVDs, CDs, uh, games and books I think over here. So that's a couple more things that they can choose from to buy. So that's pushed our thing up here. Oh, I can't roll over it. So we're selling 46 now different types of products. We got the, whatever it was before, the 10,000 sales or the 20,000 sales. We got some money for that, which is rather lovely. And look at the profits. We're actually making money. I've spent quite a lot of time rejigging the hours of the staff just to make sure that it's working. So uh, one person left because it's filthy, because there's some bin bags up there. Uh, three people have left because there's nowhere to eat and only 32 people have left because the checkout queues are full. Now that was at one point when I looked previously was at 127. So 127 people left without buying anything, which isn't very good. So now it's only come down to 32. So I still need to work that out. So I need to make that a bit better. So the first thing we're going to do is let's move time on a little bit. We want to put bus stops in. Because we researched bus stuff last time. A bus stop is 10,000. A bus stop is 10,000. So one of these things that I've unlocked is going to pay for a bus stop. Oh my goodness, they're really expensive. They're very expensive. Okay, maybe we won't put bus stops in just yet. Let's save our money. Let's save the monies that we've got from bus stops. Let's build ourselves the start of our eatery because we're going to make a fast food place at long last and we've got a little bit of money so we might be able to uh, actually get something built now it's going to take us a while to build this so look 20 that little building there is going to cost 21 and a half or 21,600 so it's going to leave us with, with, with hardly any money at all <laughs> and all it is is a small building it's only a 12 by 9 building and that's got to incorporate a stock room and all the stuff that goes in it so it might be a case that this is still going to take a long while. But there we go. So let's build that. Let's get that in. Let's just hurry time on. Because they've still got to build this. They've got to faff out and build this. And come on. We must be able to get 100 customers on the site now. Come on. 100 customers. We must be able to get 100 people in. So look. It's very busy. Car park's busy. People flying in and around. It's looking cool. Right. Here's our first fast food sort of outlet wall anyway. So it's the wall. Yep, yeah, come on, let's get some profit out of this. It'd be lovely if we could get some profit in. That'd be splendid. So at the minute, by two o'clock. Yep, yeah, they're kind of they're coming through with some money, so that's good. So they're making money. Not as much as they did the other day, however. Right, how many people are cross now? So one person because they know where to eat. 37. Yeah, so they still need a little bit of work on getting the um the checkout queues correct. It's kind of the middle of the day. It looks like the middle of the day when it causes the problem. So can we uh, manage the store, hire a cashier? Oh, no, none of them are brilliant, are they? You'll do. Emily Kane will do. And you come in at, let's get you in on the 10 o'clock shift. So what I've done is I've put them starting in groups. So we've got some that start at midnight, some that start at 7, some that start at 10, and some that start at 5. And that seems to cover everything quite well. So hopefully now with that done, also I wouldn't mind, are we nearly at getting any of these? Not quite with the daily profit. The sales one we're going to have to wait for an absolute age. Okay, so what do we need then? If we assign this as a fast food restaurant. So um, we're going to need a storeroom for it as well, which is a little bit irritating because it's not going to be very big, this fast food restaurant, is it? So the fast food restaurant is there. Then we're going to need a wall. And then we're going to need some more stuff. Oh, goodness me. Right, okay. Yeah, restaurant. And only 16 people leaving now. Okay, that's good. So that should affect our profits because only 16 people left rather than however many it was before, 37 or whatever it was. So that's got to be a bit better, surely. That's got to be a little bit better. And um, One thing I was thinking was, can you up like the markup of things? Like auto margin, manual margin. So look, the profit margin on fruit and veg is 120%. Could we ramp that up? Because that seems quite popular. So could we increase that? I don't know. Okay, yeah, this needs to be bigger because it needs a bigger storeroom. So we need to have another bit of foundation on it. Say like there. 4,800 of foundation to go just there. That's just an extra couple of spaces, which is a bit rubbish really, isn't it? But never mind. Right, so we'll drag that, get rid of that. Because that wall is in the wrong place. Now we need a wall to go just there, like that. 
I would say. Yeah, build a wall, please. And then that can then be expanded. So the fast food restaurant bit can be expanded up a square. Oh, we need another we need another row, don't we? In fact, we need another bit just there. Okay, build some more foundations just there. I don't have enough money at the moment. Come on, I need to get paid, please. Can I get to the end of the day and get some monies? Because look, you're 800 or whatever it is in profit. So, and am I going to get paid? Oh, hey, right. And then I can spend it all on that. <laughs> all on this silliness. Right, like that. Remove those walls. Then we assign that as a store, like that. So that's a store. That's fine. Right. So we're going to call this fast food. We don't want to call it fast food restaurant. Let's call it. Uh, let's call it. Let's let's keep it because let's have other friends of mine. Let's have Mr. G's. Um, uh, Mr. G's fast food. So Mr. G, part of the Wolf, uh, YouTube Wolfpack, go and check out his stuff. He's very good. He comments on lots of videos and stuff. He's very cool. Go and check out his channel. He now has a fast food restaurant. Lucky him. Assign storage. So let's assign that storage. Uh, why didn't that? Why didn't that work? Mr. G's fast food restaurant. Assign storage. Is that assigned now? <laughs> Did that work? I've no idea if that's worked. Uh, requires storage. I've done storage. Why is it not working? Right, we need to build a door, whatever the case. Whatever the case may be, we need a door. So let's build ourselves a staff door to go into the back. So that actually go over that side. That can go into the store. And then we need... We haven't got enough money for a double door. <laughs> we haven't got enough money for a double door. I want a double door just here to come into the place off of the street. So like down here. Oh, they finished their research. They finished their research. Right, that could help. Jewelry could help. Okay, what else do we want now? Road network to bus transport to bars. Unlocks a bar or security anti theft. What was what was quite you sales monitoring? That's it. We want to look at sales monitoring because we need so we can make, you know, put in the products they need and don't have the products they don't want. So let's research sales monitoring. Okay, have we got a thousand yet? Yeah, okay, so now we can put a door in. That's probably a useful thing to have, like a door to get into a building. Okay, how did I do this then? So it says, yeah, Mr. G's fast food, and that's storage. I want to assign the, assign the storage from Mr. G's Fast Food to there. Pick a storage for a business by clicking on its area on the map. But it's not coming... Oh, because I've assigned it as a store. You absolute moose. Right, take that out. That's, yeah, that's not that. Storage. Storage, not a store. See, I would call it a stock room. <laughs> that's why. That's, what, that's exactly why. It's not because I'm an idiot. Uh, and we want to rename that. So, uh, Mr. G's... And um, fast. And uh, Mr. G storage. That'll do. Mr. G storage. We know what that is. Do you know what? Um, no, I won't like that. Mr. G's fast food foo. <laughs> fast foo storage. Okay, so now we know what that is. Then we can go to Mr. G's fast food and assign that storage to it. Hurrah! So it's got some storage to it. It's got a delivery bay there. I might. Can we overwrite that? Can we change that into a loading zone can we change that to a loading zone just there so no we can't just overwrite it i wanted to get just get rid of it um okay remove road work remove that come on dudes do your building work da -da 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 -da. right and then immediately change that to a loading zone splendid and then we want to put another staff door on the side. Now, can we afford a staff door on the side? Yes, we can. Hurrah. So a staff door just there on the side. Right. Speed time on. Let's get that done. Da -da 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 -da. Right. Loading zone in. Staff door in. Splendid. So now Mr. G's fast food exists. It exists. Now, I, I don't know what else it needs in there. We might have to expand it out a little bit. At the minute, we're, we're a little bit down on money. We're minus $33 which is not the best kind of thing, is it? Uh, again, we've only got 97 customers on site. That was the peak. So it's not really going very well, but it's coming toward the end of the day and we, it looks like we might make a grand. We might make a thousand in profit, which would be rather lovely, wouldn't it? We could keep that going and are we going to make a thousand? Yes. Okay. That was pretty good. So now in here, 
we want to get ourselves. Where does jewellery go? That was on a on a shelf. Jewellery on a table? Not on a clothes rack. On a table. Right, okay, yes. So let's put uh, a couple of tables. Um, let's just put... Yeah, let's have two because we can always change it, can't we? Build a guy. Come in. Let's have ourselves jewellery and then some more jewellery just there. So let's put some jewellery on these tables. And let's see, does, how do they get stocked? Come on, stock people. Stock the jewellery. I know you've got to stock everything. Like, you know, the food. The essential life-giving food. But also, jewellery. Come on, shiny, pretty things. No one's going to buy loads of them. So we just need to make sure... Okay, how many people are leaving? Uh, 12 because they're hungry. 74 because of the queues being full. Oh, my goodness. But look, shiny jewellery. Do I need some security for this? I mean, this is this is asking for some sort of uh, this is asking for some sort of armed robbery. Now I've got jewelry in. Surely this is a bad thing. Surely this could end really horribly. Okay, did I just get paid one and a half thousand? Yes. Oh, we're so nearly there. We're so nearly at that point. Okay. So is anyone buying jewelry then? Is is any of that depleted? Is it gone? Fullness, 100%. Fullness, 100%. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm glad that's popular then. Okay, in here, what do we need to buy then? Cashier stock collect. Fast food cooking range. Okay, so we need all this stuff now. So we need a fast food cooking range. That's going to cost a thousand, is it? Oh, good. Which way round is it? I don't know which way round it's supposed to be. But that needs to go in here. So let's put that... Again, I don't know how these work. Like, is that suitable to be just there or do they need to get behind it i really don't know i really don't know i'm sort of in the dark about this well let's put one just there and what else does it need it needs cashier yeah it needs a stock clerk yeah order counter ah right an order counter was up here so okay so you come in you take your orders your orders are going to be oh the queue's a little bit strange there we go that's a bit better i like that idea oh, should we do it that way let's have it like that so you come in, big long queue, splendid. They're cooking the food up here, so that's good. Now, could we could put another order counter in just there. So what else does it need? Fast food soda dispenser. Where could that go? Yeah, this is a very small room to put all these things in. So cashier stock clerk, fast food soda dispenser, fast food warmer. Where's that? Fast food warmer is a thousand. Oh, I've got twelve thousand dollars. Why is that? What did I do? Did I make a total of so many sales? I don't know what I did there. I don't know why I've been given that much money. I'm not entirely sure what 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 has granted me this wonderful food, uh, this wonderful monetary bonus. But whatever, I'm not going to complain. Right? Okay. The food warmer can go there. I think that's quite good. Right? We can expand this out a bit now. In fact, this is quite good. We need to make this a bit bigger. So I don't think. Actually, let's make the whole thing bigger. I don't think that's big enough. So let's spend nine grand of our thing, making that just a little bit bigger. Right, that's good. And we can take down that wall. Take down all those... Maybe not that wall, actually. Take down that wall and that wall. And take away that door as well, because the doors are fairly cheap. I'm not so bothered about the doors. So take the door away, take that away. Right, and then walls. So one there, up to there, walls. Then we want to get ourselves a staff door. Splendid. And then we want to move this all the way down there. Okay, good. So the cooking bit can go here. Now, what else was there? There was... Let's put another one of those in. Let's pause it for a second. So an order counter. Another order counter can go just there. Oh, I need to assign it as a fast food thing like that. And I need to assign that as storage and not a store. Okay. So what else did it need? A cook. Okay, that's fine. A fast food soda dispenser. Can we get a fast food soda dispenser somewhere in here? Yes, there, look. So you can order your food, then you can go and get your fast food soda dispenser. Now, do the staff do that? Or do the people do that? I don't know. Let's put it next to the food warmer. We can always rejig all this. Now, I don't know how this is going to work. Okay, now we just need to actually have people. So we need a cook, a cashier, and a stock clerk. Oh, this is going to go painfully wrong, isn't it? Right, Mr. G's fast food restaurant. Let's have it open at eight, and let's have it open for 12 hours. And oh, no, that's 14 hours. There you go. To start with, 12 hours. So let's hire a cashier for this place. Oh, everyone's pretty dreadful. You might have to do Janet Bishop. 
Speed, patience, and sociability. You're all right as a cook, however. Scotty Norton, are you going to stay there? So she's going to come in, and she is going to work. What? How, how long do we open? Eight till twelve. Okay. Uh, eight till. Oh no, you're open for what? Twelve hours. Yeah. So you can work a twelve-hour shift because I'm a horrible person. Right. A stock clerk. We probably only need one of you. Like, yeah. So you're quite a good. You're better as a cook, aren't you? Uh, everyone is terrible. Everyone here is terrible. You're all rubbish. You're all actually rubbish people. Uh, okay, how, like, how do we know when this is open? It doesn't open, presumably, until it's got all the right bits, I guess. 70 people are leaving the store without paying anything. Oh my goodness. But we did just make a profit of over 5,000, did we, at one point? Okay, right, I'm taking that. I'm running with that. We've still nearly got 100 customers on site. When this fast food thing's open, I think that will work. Right, hire a stock clerk. Okay, all well, the people have changed. Oh, it's gone past midnight. Everyone is still fairly rubbish. That's to do with check happy. Right, stock clerk, stock clerk. You're all kind of rubbish. You're all a bit rubbish. Jake Gill, you can come and become the stock clerk. And then a cook. You're all rubbish. You're all really awful people. Look, I mean, you're all right as a cook, but you've got no patience. Uh, okay, that's to do with queues, though, and none of that. Sociability determine the ability for the cashiers to cheer up customers at the checkout. Well, you're going for the job as a cook, so it doesn't really matter. So let's get you as a cook, because you're actually fairly good as a cook. 50.70. So let's hire you as a cook. Right, so now this, in theory, is open. So do I need to build some, some chairs or something? Restaurant or a diner table. So along here somewhere? I don't really know. Do they, Or do they just go away? Because it's fast food. You don't have to sit in fast food. You don't have to actually sit there. Like I imagine I'd need some of these. Let's just have a look. Let's see if I can figure out how this is going to work. So people are going to come in. So it's not open at the minute. That's absolutely fine. Oh, research is done. Research is done. Their research sales monitoring. That's a good thing. Okay, let's get... What do we want next? Any more sales monitoring? Big data. Allows uncovering over job applicants' traits via social networks. Okay, that's just price. Marketing. That might be a good thing to get our hands on. Marketing might be quite useful. Uh, yeah, we don't want fine dining quite yet. Marketing could be handy just so we can actually get some stuff out there so we can bring more people in with a bit of money. So let's research that. Let's pause it because now needs. Yes, look at this. Okay, demand. Lots of demand for liquor. Lots of demand for soda. Okay, there's loads of demand for like fresh meat. So demand, lots. Yesterday sales, very little. It's not that much in demand then, is it? Uh, all this stuff down here is not really in demand. Juices and dishware and cookware and stuff. So yeah, stuff like that. Fresh bread. The demand is big, but yesterday sales are small. Okay, so if we click on fresh bread, what does it show us? On display three, demand ten, yesterday sales eight. What are the tiers? I don't I don't understand what the tiers are. On display naught, demand eighteen, on display tier three. Sell fresh bread in a store with over fifty percent of fresh bread to satisfy this demand. With over fifty percent of food. What? I don't understand that at all. What does that mean? Sell fresh bread in a store with over fifty percent of food to satisfy this demand. Over 50% of food. I don't know what that means. Sell fresh bread in a store with over 50% of fresh bread to satisfy this demand. What? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Can you upgrade the, the, the things? The shelves or something? No. Tier 1. Max quality product. Tier 1. Tier 1. Um. Okay, I wonder if you have a bakery or something and you only put fresh bread in it i wonder if that means that you then meet that requirement so the demand is 22 for tier 3 fresh bread so fresh bread in a store with over 50 percent of fresh bread so if you sold a store with just bread in it a little bakery perhaps you might be able to get away with tier 3 bread i really don't know Okay, I don't know. Let's see how this fast food thing works. And if it proves to be a success, we'll make it bigger. We'll expand this bit out and then have places for people to sit and what have you. Because people might want to sit down. Where does she keep going? 
Where are you going? You keep going somewhere. A cashier. But you keep wandering off, look. You keep wandering out of the queue and going back in through the door. And I don't really know why. Why do you keep wandering off? Right, and here's a thing. So you're serving a person some delicious stuff. Are you going to this to pick it up? Ah, so you go and do that. Right, okay. Yes, you go to the food warmer-ish. You sort of head towards... Right, okay. So I have made... This is a terrible mistake. This is a disastrous layout. Okay, foundations. Let's make this bit a little bit bigger. 3,200. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll do that for now. Make that bigger. Take down that wall like that, if you would be so kind, building folks. So get on with the building. Splendid. We'll wait till it's shut. This is all This is all wrong now. This is all wrong. But when it's shut, I'll rejig all this. So that's fine. Right. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So now she can walk around. Actually, she can walk around. So it's a little bit better. It's a little bit more efficient already. So when this closes around 8 o'clock-ish, does it shut? Yep. There we go. So it's shut. Right. Okay. Uh, we need to get that moved <laughs> to over here because... Of course, oh no, I can't move it there because I need to assign it to a fast food restaurant. There we go. Um, yeah, so let's select that. Move that to over there and rotate it. Why can't I rotate that round? I cannot rotate that. Why can't I turn it round? Can I rotate that and turn it round? No. I can't seem to be able to rotate those. Is it because they're placed and it doesn't let me rotate them? That's a bit weird, isn't it? I can't twist them round. Like with everything else, you can move. Maybe it's because I'm in not real time mode. Um, okay, that's going to make things a bit interesting, isn't it? I wonder if I can do it from building them from scratch. Build a, do, 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 where a fast food dispenser thing. No, I can't turn them round. What else goes around? Yeah, so it's Q. It's Q to turn them round. Look, so Q on my keyboard spins things round. Fast food dispenser can't rotate it, so it can't go along this wall, which is a bit irritating, if I'm completely honest, because I've built it to go sideways. This whole restaurant is built to go a long ways, not... Uh, okay, fine. Um, <laughs> I wasn't planning on having that like that. Okay, can we have another foundation bit? 1600. Okay, take that out as well speed time on get them to do the stuff dig 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 right good they've done that right do i get paid in a moment okay yes right do the same again oh no not road work that would be a disaster do that take out that wall like so let's assign that to be fast food restaurant like that and then we need to then put that move that to say there and move that to just there. I mean, yeah, that this looks this looks rubbish. This looks really bad. But that'll have to do because I, it doesn't it doesn't really fit anywhere else. It doesn't really go. So let's put that there and that there. Drop that in. Fine. There's a bit of a trolley just there. <laughs> oh right, there's a, there's a person there. Okay, you're the cook. Okay, so now can we move you to over here? Move you to behind here, maybe. Can we rotate that round? Does that rotate? Yeah, that rotates. That's absolutely fine. Oh, right. Oh, hang on. How do I cancel that then? I, don't, I undo. Und. I don't want to do that anymore. No, I don't want to move it anymore. Just, just come out of it. There we go. Oh, 17. 17 grand. I don't know why, but I've got 17 grand for some reason. We didn't make that much, did we? We made 5,000, which is very lovely. Ah, is that what we did? We turned a daily profit of over 5,000. Now it's gone up to 10,000. Yes. Monies is rolling in. Okay. So let's move this all the way back to there then. Now we've got lots of room to play with. We've got a bit more money, look, to spend on doing all this stuff. So we can have the cook guy. Let's move his station. Move him behind here, look. So have him just there. Let's move... These bad. Let's move that back to say. Ugh, I can't place it there, which is really irritating. Move that there. Move that there. Move these back. So let's drag those back to even just there. Move that back a bit to there. And then 
we can have tables right these people have frozen in time why are you frozen in time hello hanging around ah because it's not a complete shop of course what a spoon right drag that out it's a fast food restaurant rock on oh and now it's closed <laughs> they've been waiting all that time and now it's shut oh good uh they've nearly finished doing the marketing stuff that's good uh, yeah we got the profit there we go two people hungry 58 people because of the queues need to sort out that need more staff must have more staff okay now in here we can put some tables i would have thought we can put a couple of tables at this far end oh no this person is oh that's a good point you might need to go to the loo ah yes i hadn't considered your toiletry needs let's let's build a little restroom up here <laughs> whoops oh dear can you hold it don't go on the floor uh okay a, a door might suffice again i door with the glass panels going into a toilet a little bit dubious but okay right get this built and while you're doing that let's find ourselves the cool looking diner tables i like these these look very good so we can drop a couple of those in like that i like this uh, and then they can, they can go all the way along here actually so people can come and sit inside the place and actually eat while they're here i mean yeah the queues are in the way whatever who cares so uh yeah now this needs to be a restroom also they might want behind there they might want a uh thingamabobber uh vending machine where is a vending machine somewhere down here vending machine vending machine can we put them in there can we put it in the stock room i think that's fine that'll do because then the staff can get in and take stuff from the vending machine but this is a fast food restaurant so you guys aren't the customers aren't supposed to be eating from the vending machine okay now we need to assign this as a restroom which is fine and we don't want to call it restroom eight because that's just a bit silly to be honest so that one no restroom eight can we not call it not that so uh mr g's fast food restroom okay sorted now that needs in it toilet cubicles and sinks of course it does so cubicle right sinks now where can they go on this one now can they go on this wall yes they can okay let's have uh one two three four sinks and where are the toilet cubicles they're up here somewhere as well there they are right above where i was let's rotate it around let's have one two three four they're really expensive they're really expensive. I don't think I can afford many more of those at the moment. Let's go and speed time on and see how poor I am after they've built all this. Up. Oh dear, right, yeah, they're very expensive. We possibly need some time to move on so I can uh, actually do this. Oh, no one can get to... <laughs> no one can get to that seat in the corner because this seat's too in the way. Let's move that seat to just there. Oh, I can't move it to just there because it's where it currently is. Oh no, and now someone's sat at it. No sitting at that seat. There we go. That's better. Good. Okay. That possibly didn't go as well as it could, but if we get some monies, we might actually break even by the end of the day if we can actually just get some money. Come on. Give me some monies. Minus 649. That's fine. I think. Ish. So yeah, and we're still making money now. Okay. So good. So we're paying these people's wages. Now, hopefully this will pay for itself. This thing should pay for itself. Yes, we've had to put lots of toilety things in. It's very important. However, we need some floor. I don't like not having floors. Stockroom, don't care about the floor. Bathroom needs to be the checkity floor. So we need to get that in. So that needs to go in. I like the way we can do it without actually having the money. And then the fast food floor can be this red colour. Yeah, red. Crazy red. Oh, it didn't let me do it. I don't have enough money. <laughs> I didn't have enough money before, but you let me do the toilet floor, didn't you? There you go, red. Yes. Fast food can be red. There we go. So now I'm really broke. So I'm just going to leave it going for a few days. Oh, oh, you guys. Okay, marketing. When I've got some money, we can go and do some marketing, perhaps. Uh, well, let's carry on unlocking all these other things. So appliances, tools, electronics, or clothing. Or restaurants, too, for fine dining restaurants. I don't think we're quite going for fine dining yet. Big data is the job applicant's traits. Marketing, too, is... Well, we haven't got big data yet. Bars might be quite nice. Bars might be quite cool. Yeah, let's we get bars. We could put a bar in as well up here in this corner. Yeah, bars. Research bars, please. Okay, one person because they're hungry. 21 because of the queues. 
two people because they're hungry. Twenty. Okay, right. Well, that's that's fine. That's not so bad. That's not as bad as it could be. Okay, now, do the janitors do both stores? Yes, they do. Okay, right, good. So you're cleaning both things. Okay, we might need another janitor possibly at some point. Then we might need another janitor to come in. Okay, right, let's hurry time on then. Let's just leave it flying along until we've got enough money to, A, do the flooring of the restaurant, because that's very, very, very important, obviously. And uh, then, yeah, we'll see what we can do after that. Maybe we can enhance the restaurant or something, or do a marketing campaign, see if that helps. I don't know, but... I'd like to get into some sort of profit first, please. So let's not be minus $583 down. Let's actually be in profit before we do anything else. Okay, things are looking promising. We've got 11 grand, which we have earned of our own accord, I believe, because we've been getting money. Look, we're so close to getting the 50 different types of products. We need one more product, but I don't know what to get because we're not actually researching product things. We're researching bars at the minute. Look, lovely bars. I mean, I wonder if I get a bar, I wonder if if that will count as another product that I'm selling. I don't know. At the little restaurant down here, the fast food place is going okay. I mean, yeah, he's on the wrong side. That's the wrong side for you to be cooking on, my good man. But whatever, it doesn't really make any difference. He can still go to here and he puts the food onto these. And knowing that these can't rotate, it's a little bit irritating. But never mind. Uh, there's a restroom up here for those people. There's fast food for the staff. So that's looking pretty good. And we are making some money. In fact, if they finish researching bars, bars is done. Okay, what do you want to get them to research next? Um, how about uh, appliances? Electronic. Oh, no, clothes. Clothes are good because there's lots of different types. So let's research clothes, 48 man hours left. So we've got, I've been working quite hard on getting this. So we've employed some more staff. So now there are only six occurrences of people leaving because of the checkout queues being busy. So that's good. And we've employed another janitor as well because now we've got another shop. We've got another place down here that needs cleaning. So that needs sprucing up as well as this place as well. And you need to take out all the bin bags and all that kind of stuff. So now they've unlocked marketing. Let's take a look at marketing. Now, I've been having a look at what we can do through this. So there's a local TV ad, there's a billboard, and then there's the design quality. So you could have a premium billboard. It would cost 12 grand, which we can afford, and it would give us an 8% sales boost. And also, the longer you want it running, the more expensive it is, and so on and so forth. So we could get a premium billboard for an 8% boost, but you could go to a local TV ad and make it average... So where's that? Oh, even high? 14 grand for an 8% boost. And it takes 48 man hours to design and daily maintenance, 12 man hours. What does that mean? 12 man hours to maintain. Who maintains it? People in an office? You're currently employing two office workers, an average daily progress of 10 man hours. Oh, so the office do this, do they? Ah, okay. However, the billboard costs less, even if we put it on premium, it's 12 grand, like a local TV ad is 24 grand. So a billboard it takes 20 hours for them to design, five man hours per day to maintain. It costs 12 grand, but it's going to give us an 8% sales boost. Do you know what? Should we do that? We've never done a sales campaign before. Let's do a billboard sales campaign. Yes. And then obviously, yes, this is them designing it. Okay. That's quite cool. I like that. That's a good thing. So now these people... They're not in at the minute. I don't make them to come in at four in the morning. That's a bit mean. These people then will design, presumably split their work between designing the billboard and uh, doing the research they need to do. I assume, I assume that's what they're going to do. I actually don't know. Let's see. So what are you doing? You are doing office work. That's a nice and generic, isn't it? <laughs> just, just doing some office work. Good, good. Manage, manage you. Okay, so yeah, you just come in and do the normal thing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so now can we check marketing? Are they doing something? Right, so they're doing that. Are they also, however, doing the research? Possibly slower than they are doing the billboard, which is halfway through. Okay, so the billboard won't be done by the end of today. Oh, didn't mean to press pause, meant to press select. Won't be done by the end of today. Six people are leaving because the queues are full. Okay, that is far, far better than we have done before. So we're making a nice bit of monies. Making some monies. We still haven't quite got to 100 customers on site. But I think this is looking far better. We've got the restaurant here. Long, long last. We have the restaurant in place, which is good. The shop is making money, which is beautiful. We like that. Sales are coming through. We're making, I mean, yesterday, four, well, three and a half thousand dollars we made. And obviously, we've just done a big marketing campaign as well. So let's see how that's going. 
Nothing happening with the marketing campaign at the moment. Nothing. It's not finished. They need to finish it off. But yeah, I think this is going now better. It's going better. What I'm going to try next time, next time out, I'm going to build a very small shop and it's going to be a bakery. And I'm going to do this. So look, the demand is 24. Tier 3 bread. I don't really understand this, but sell fresh bread in a store with over 50% of fresh bread. So I'm going to build a store, literally just stock it with fresh bread. It can be a bakery. That can be a little shop, tiny little shop. Cashier, a person at the back, a stock person. That's it. That can be all it is. Two people in there. Because look, fresh bread. Demand is 57. And yesterday sells 15. But it's not this. It's not tier 1 bread. They're meeting the tier one bread. It's tier two and tier three bread. So yeah, it's sort of it's it's different levels of bread that have different requirements. Like that, you can't have tier three veg, but sell fresh veg in a store with over fifty percent of food. So yeah, that, that I hadn't considered this was a thing. Like, look, we might need a bookshop. Sell books in a store with over fifty percent of books. So in like a media and toy shop or a bookshop might increase these tiers. So it's the tier three stuff we need. So individual specific shops fresh meat a butcher's perhaps so we need to make a little maybe along here or down the road or something i don't know like a parade of little bespoke shops so one of them could be a butcher's one of them can be a, a baker's one of them can be a whatever it's a fish shop or something and we'll get that tier three stuff and that should see our profits go up as well so i think we might do that along here possibly or up this road might be quite nice, a little parade of shops. Or we could make a special place. We could do a road down here and then have that going maybe up there, actually. would be quite nice. Have a road going up here, maybe on the other side of this. And then have the shops in the middle there so you can get to it from either side. That might be quite cool. And they have this little parade of sort of fancy pants shops. So, yeah, the bakers and the butchers and the candlestick makers and whatever else up there. I think that sounds like a pretty good idea. I like that idea and our marketing campaign should, ah, it's actually kicked in, is it? Our marketing campaign should have kicked in. So we should be seeing a bit of a sales boost as well. So now whether that means people, can we get, can we get the 100 customers on the site? <gasps> now that's in, can we get 100 customers? Oh, come on, let's just wait. Let's just wait and see if this works. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, this is peak customers on site. So it picks up from about eight o'clock in the morning now. So people coming in. 45 people, 50 people. Come on, come on, more people. 50 people. There should be more people than this. I've got a sales boost thing going. Do more people come in in the afternoon, possibly? It's only 50 people. 50 people. No, see, no, nowhere even, nowhere even near. I wonder why. I wonder why it's not getting anywhere near. Look, we had 90, yeah, whatever it was, 97 or something before. But no, it doesn't seem to be not anywhere near. Not even over 60, I don't think we got to. Okay, never mind. Right, so we know what we're doing next time. We'll try and get the market for these uh, for these things, for these bits here. So yeah, like a fish thing and a bakery and uh, arcade games. What? Is there an arcade game thing in there? And bowling and yes, fast food. Look, there's a fast food thing that people are demanding and all that kind of stuff. We'll do that as we go through here. We'll make a little parade of nice fancy pants shops. Let's just clear that. Hungry and six people because the cashiers are done. That's pretty good going. I'm quite happy with how this is going. I'll be honest, it's quite slow. Progress is slower than I was expecting with this game, but I am enjoying it quite a lot. I'm enjoying it a lot. I hope you are too. If you are, please do leave a like, leave some comments to tell me what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right, what you think I should do next. And if you have not subscribed, please do so to keep up to date with this series and all the other things that we do as well. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. That's a kind of hammery thing. There's some sort of pliers. Oil filter. Yes, I found the oil filter. It's a murder weapon. That looks like it says brake fluid. I don't want to drink brake fluid. Toothpicks, spanners, a brown car. Why do all the cars look the bloody same? I'm not buying one of these. These are clearly awful.